All right, everybody, this is Ross, the Fig Boss. I thought in today's video we would touch a little bit more on getting our fig trees to fruit. We talked a lot about light and maximizing the light on our fig trees and why that's so important. I, I really do believe that is the answer for a lot of us. In fact, um, this year has been astounding. I've had more fruit set this year than ever just due to that very simple change that we talked about, maximizing the sunlight that our trees are receiving. And it's not, again, it's not just enough to put them into more hours of light uh, or a more intense light, but simply just by staking the branches, thinning out the shoots. Um, in this big pile of potted trees I have right here, I've been really um, meticulous about arranging the trees so that there isn't a ton, I mean, there is some internal shading in here, but not enough to really uh, you know, make me lose a ton of fruit set. Uh, the more light that we can get, the more productive our fig trees can potentially be. So we've seen, I think this year, I would say in an average year, by the way, out of let's say a hundred potted fig trees I may have, I would probably in an average year not see fruit on about 40% of those. So about 40 out of the 100 trees just don't even fruit at all. This year, that number, I went through every single potted tree. It is June 21st as of today. I did this maybe about 10 or 14 days ago. I went through every single potted tree and I said to myself, well, it's, we're getting into June. It's really getting to that critical time now. If we're not starting to see some fruit set yet, we're really gonna be struggling. We're probably not gonna see the fruit set at all, or if we do, it's gonna to be too late in the season. And when I went through all the trees, out of the 100 trees I have, let's say, there's 100, only four of them didn't have fruit. So what a big difference from one year to the next. 40%, or even not just one year, that's many years of growing figs here on this patio. Uh, it's roughly 40% that didn't fruit. Now it's only 4%. What I did was, and I think this is really critical because if you follow the steps I've been mentioning, um, you should have success. But there's some of you guys out there who may not be seeing success. And that's what I want to cover in this video. Maybe you have a stubborn fig tree that just is not fruiting. What are some of the things that you can do? What might be some of the reasons why it's not fruiting? Well, the light is certainly the most important thing. So what I did was I, I took these four trees, they were out in this, these, this pile here or that pile back there, you guys can maybe, maybe see a little bit of, and I made sure I brought them out and put them into more light. I didn't want any shading. Um, I wanted them to be on their own. You know, not that any of these leaves are touching. Or, you know, I wanted to make sure that they have their own space, their own light. And that's really the best I can do. I can't necessarily put them in, in more hours of light. I'd love to, but I have to keep them here and irrigate them. And, and this is really their permanent home. So the best thing I could do, as I said, take them out of that pile where there is some potential internal shading. The other thing we have to do is because we talked about in those other videos that we cannot go back, right? We cannot go back in time and get our fig trees to fruit. The fruit has to form on the new growth as it's growing. So as an example, if these trees here, we have on this one fruiting branch on, the, on my left, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 new leaves as of today. So at the start of this growing season, which was roughly May 1st, you know, it's now June 21st, I now have 12 leaves. Every leaf, given the appropriate amount of sunlight, should represent a fruit, but it doesn't. This tree just did not get the appropriate amount of light that it needs. Well, therefore the fruit buds did not form and they will not form. Again, you cannot go back. The only way to make this work is to put your fig tree in the right amount of light and allow it to continue to grow, encourage it to continue to grow. Because as the tree grows, right? I said, as it grows, the light has to be there. And if the appropriate amount of light is there on these fruit buds, they will form. If not, well, then you just have a tree of leaves and no fruit. So that's what we did is that we put these trees over here, had them in the, their own little space. We gave them food and water to help them grow. It's really critical, especially that water. Keep encouraging them to grow. 
And really about 10 days later, I'm seeing success actually. So this is really solid, um, you know, advice at this point is that not only did we, we were, you know, uh, we're practicing what we preached and what we were preaching actually has come true. So along this tree here, we have actually fruit buds that are just now expanding and may even pop fruits. So on these very top couple fruit buds, I'll show you guys these in a minute. We have another tree over here that actually is showing very small figs. And then even this guy over here, which I was very skeptical to see if it would even fruit, also has figs on it. And it's at the very tops of the branches. It's not down below, as I said, where we counted all these leaves. We can't go back. As much as I'd like to go back and I wish that you guys could go back in time, we can't correct something that we've already made a mistake on. So it's only really in these upper shoots, these upper new growth points. That's, what we're try that's why we're trying to get it to grow. Now I do have one tree here in the middle that I was pretty convinced about 10 days ago. Still I'm pretty certain that it's just not a healthy tree, at least at this point. It's just not something that, and this might be you know, a similar situation to you guys. You may just not have a healthy enough or mature enough or the right form to your tree to really allow it to grow. And it's a shame, and a lot of that has to do with some fig mosaic virus. I think this tree actually has it a little bit worse than the majority of the varieties. Excuse the noise on the microphone. So, you know, it's not the end of the world, the, the mosaic virus. There's ways to correct that, and I've talked about that in the past, but this one here certainly seems to be struggling, combined probably with the fact that it needs more light than the average variety. So. Um, that's the one other thing I really want to touch on is that everybody's tree is different. Every single person watching right now has a different fig tree than everybody else. So my, my recommendations are, guys, is that some varieties just require more light than others. And certainly with these four that I have selected, I think that's abundantly clear. Uh, especially when I've, I've noticed in the past of growing similar uh, varieties to this one here. This one's called uh, prosciutto, and this one back here is called Harry's Crete. They're both Adriatic types, very similar to green Ischia and Verte and Battaglia green and JH Adriatic and Unknown Lake Spur, Rockaway green. There's so, so many of them, and I've really struggled with a lot of those varieties in the past, um, and I think it's just due to the fact that in this patio in my backyard here, no matter where it is, I just don't get enough light for these particular varieties to ever really be that productive. Uh, so that's kind of my, my real issue is that eventually they will. So it's not like it's, they're a forever a lost cause, but we're going to talk more about that, these individual varieties and, and why some of them may be slightly more adapted to lower light conditions. Some might be, you know, um, some might be you know, requiring a ton of light. Maybe they have been in California and grown commercially for a very long time, like the Adriatic, right? Uh, so I think uh, there's a lot to learn here involving light, and that's just one little simple trick and things, thing that we can do for our fig trees to get them to put out at least something, right? It'd be nice to get 12 fruits on this one branch, but at least I'm happy and I would, I would rather have something than nothing. So now I have, let's say, maybe uh, instead of 12, I have about three or four. I'll deal with that. So uh, thank you guys. Oh wait, I'll show you the fruits real quick before we, uh, before we go. But as, we, as I show these to you, hit that subscribe button for me guys. But you can see right in here, the fruit buds have formed. And that's what I did. I didn't just go around by the way. And by the way, I'm not able to focus this. Well, we have a problem, but I can't restart now. Anyway, the fruit buds are definitely forming right in here. I don't know what happened to my camera, but you can even see in the back, this is starting to protrude a bit, which is quite nice. Right in there, the, the fruit bud is starting to expand quite a bit. We even have it on this branch here where we counted the 12 leaves. And then if I go back here, I'll show you guys this tree. Again, right down in here, we can see a little fruit that's forming. And again, this is all towards the upper parts 
of these branches. Here's another really, really small fruit back here. And then again down here on this, this tree that's been struggling, the same thing. There's a fig right there. So as we let them grow, we've given them more light on this upper growth, assuming this upper growth here, these new leaves that are forming, get the right light. We give it the food and water. That's the best advice I can give. So thank you guys again. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you soon. If you haven't already checked out the video that we did on light, it's super, super important. We'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Take care.